Hi, I wanted to show you uh, what a veggie dish is. I'm actually cooking codfish or salt fish uh, with dumpling and banana, but I wanted to give you a, a look at um, what I put into my my uh, my codfish dish. So I put carrots, celery, tomatoes, green onions and um, pepper, hot pepper. It's I chopped it up really fine and put it in there as well. So this is gonna be sauteed. I'm gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil on, on it um, just to steam it down a bit. The carrots, I do not want them to be um, mushed because they're vegetables, so I really want them to be um, a little bit firm. This is a codfish, I'm boiling it first. Uh, I always like to boil the salt out first, then, um, then cool it down and uh, put it in the um, vegetable, that uh, vegetable um, mix stir fry that I've done. Uh, so I'll, I'll let this boil for a bit more and um, then when it's done, I'll show you. So this is, uh, one, of, this is one of the boiled dumplings. Sorry, and here is my banana. I boil it in the skin because I like when it's easily peeled off. It's better that way. Here I have some boiled potatoes. I like to do it separately because I put it in, putting it into the, the bigger pot with everything just um, smushes it out. And these are small potatoes. And um, also I don't want it to have um, any more starch onto it. But so far these are nice, so I'm going to just uh, cook them a little bit more and then they're ready. So here I have my beetroot dish. It's beetroot ginger, so the red is the beet. I'm going to make some drink juice with it and um, also the ginger so I peeled it and then I'm gonna make some ginger juice so stay tuned okay so I've uh, put it on the stove what I've done is added butter instead of um, vegetable oil just because um, I didn't see the butter the oil you probably might have finished you could use olive oil which is really good um, but I'll use a little bit of butter, which is even, um, which is okay as well. It's not better, but it's okay because I'm not adding any salt to it. So the butter with that little bit of sodium in it will, um, will definitely do the trick. There's the, the hot pepper all the way over there. Here, a little yellow. There it is. So this will be nice and have a little bit of spice to it. And also the um, I'm boiling down the uh, the, sweet, the potatoes. All right, so stay tuned, and I'll show you what the finished dish looks like. So this is what I do next. I blend the beetroot with ginger, then I strain it, just in a regular strainer, and I let it drain then once it's done see all the liquid inside that's uh, ginger with beetroot juice and I'm gonna just add a little bit of um, raw sugar brown sugar to it just to give it a little bit of taste you could add um, some people add a little bit of uh, rum to it or some people add a lot of stuff to it but if you just want it natural just like this just add a little bit of raw sugar or you could put honey in it and it's all natural and good to go, okay? So you want to go ahead and add some raw sugar or brown sugar uh, into the drink. Not a lot, just enough to taste. You don't have to drink your juice sweet. Just a little bit to bring up the flavor. And if you wanted, you could add a lot more ginger if you want it spicy. But um, 
I just wanted um, mild because I have a little one. So um, add your raw sugar, sweeten it, add some ice, let it chill, and there you have it. There you have it. Supper is ready. So the codfish or salt fish with a vegetable, carrots, celery, tomatoes, green onions, or um, dumpling, green banana boiled, boiled um, sweet potato. And of course you have the beetroot juice have some with some ice just to keep it chill and this is supper okay so it takes roughly around two hours to make depending on how quick you are at because I do this all the times so it's a uh, it's fairly quick because I have my strategy plan how I'm gonna get it done needing the flour doing the bananas and just getting it all together but roughly it should take about two hours to do the drink and the meal all right so there you have it a delicious meal